This is James Lubowitz from Taos, New Mexico, USA. All inside ACL using GraphLink technique is simple and reproducible, but requires meticulous preparation of the graft construct, which we are going to demonstrate today. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and pass it first on the tibia side. Then when we come back, the tibia might be a little smaller, which is anatomic. We'll keep this tightened down all the way right there. And in order, once you get these even, your assistant will pinch it right here, please, so they stay even. And now I'm going to pass it on the femoral side. And we bring one in one direction and the other limb in the other direction so that now you see I'm going to have a shorter and quadrupled graft. And you can see how it's coming through. And now what I'm going to do is actually pass one of the limbs through the loop so they're on the same side. You can hold these with an Alice clamp or with a hemostat, but eventually those get in the way. So the best trick is to take a fiber loop and to sew them together. Take out the slack, pass the clamp through the loop, penetrate, pull it through, and now what we can do is take off our Alice clamp and you can see how that's nicely affixed. And the next trick I like to do is cut the end of the suture, but save the metal Keith needle. So we pass those sutures back through the end of the graft, taking care not to touch our button. We'll take the tension off just there so I can pull this all the way seated. If you can see, we have one, two, three, four strands. I'm going to start with number two so I can bury the knot. So there's number two. There's number three. Here's number four. And now I'm going to have my assistant hold the suture on the end. So when I wrap this around 360 degrees, it comes right up flush to that suture and doesn't slip off. And now I've gone through three of the strands. I'm going to come back through my f number one. And by doing so, you can see I'm creating a buried knot technique. So this is O fiber wire with a buried knot. And it's very small at the end of the day. So you don't have it become bulky when you place it in your socket. I'm going to take my number zero fiber wire and do it one more time with the buried knot technique. So I'll make sure I come in through all four strands, but with the buried knot. So there's number two, number three, and number four. And then you'll have two on this side, which is the tibia side, which is really going to secure the free ends. We'll get these nice and even. And then on the femoral side, so we're going to go ahead and use a buried knot technique. We're going to start in the middle, strand number two, three, four, wrap it around 360 degrees, and come back through strand number one. And now we'll go ahead and tie this. And you could put a second one of these on the femoral side. For the purposes of time, we're going to stop right there. You can see that it's under 20 pounds. As you can see here, graft length is 73, meeting our goal of less than 75 millimeters, which is optimal for all inside technique. So we'll use a 8, a 9 by 73.